This video shows you how to create your first mashup, add objects from multiple ClickSense apps, create a list and a hypercube, and import asset files. In the Dev Hub, select the Mashup Editor and then create a new project. Give it a name and select the visualization template you require. Select a ClickSense app to which to connect, and then select the visualization to display in your mashup. In the HTML file, you can change the title of the mashup. When you have finished, save your project. All of the mashups that you have created are available in the Dev Hub. You can open an existing mashup and continue editing the files. To launch a mashup, click View. The mashup is launched in a new browser window. Here, you can interact with your data. You can add ClickSense objects from multiple apps. On the .js tab, you can see how the JavaScript code has been updated for all of the apps. In the Mashup Editor, you can create your own callback function for a list. For example, select the Fields radio button and select an applicable field from the list. You can create an expression, define a frequency mode, and fill in your callback name. In the .js tab, confirm that the callback has been generated, and also confirm that an empty callback function has been generated as well. You can also create your own callback function for a hypercube. To do this, select the Dimension button, and then select the applicable fields from the list. You can add a measure by using the Expression Editor. You can choose, as in this example, to suppress missing values. In the .js file, confirm that the callback has been generated and also confirm that an empty callback function has been generated. You can import graphic files of JPEG, PNG, and GIF formats into your project by selecting the Import File option from the menu. Browse to the location where the file is stored and select it to import into your mashup project. As you can see, the PNG file is now uploaded. The process is very similar if you want to upload script files in JavaScript, CSS, or HTML formats. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.